Hey, what is up guys? Johnny here. I'm back with more Shadow Gun Legends. Today the topic is, is this game pay to win? Because it seems like every every week I see the question pop up in some of my comments, in my YouTube videos, on the Facebook group. Once a week someone will bring that topic again. Is this game pay to win? Yeah, first thing I always say is, if, if you ask if this game is pay to win, it's because you, you don't understand what pay to win means, actually. Uh, we're gonna look real quick at the pay drill, though, because the question came up again today in one of my videos. Uh, actually, for you guys, it's yesterday, because I live in the future. But this thing right here, the surprise strong box is at pay drill. If you watch yesterday or the day before stream, uh, you see that I did open a couple of these boxes, okay? And I got the OG Moneymaker Sniper, which is a legendary. And three weeks ago, that was not available in the strong boxes. You could not get legendaries in these boxes. But one morning we woke up and something popped up. I think it was Kira the first time. And then it started having some rotations. You had the Ferragini. I think we saw the uh, Plasma Blaster also. So some legendaries seem to be rotating in these boxes. And then people again, boom. Oh my god, this game is pay to win now. Oh my god, this is so bad. But what actually... What is actually pay to win? And it, I will tell you guys what I think pay to win is and at the same time we're gonna gamble a little bit in Pedro's lucky will because I want to gamble uh, open a couple of these for fun and let's go for uh, one real quick but you know the true Patriot sniper is available here right that's the one I'm looking for and we got a Hulkster helmet hat or something but right, let's check out what, what it looks like but the, to me pay to win is when you can buy things with m real money that is super powerful like more powerful than regular things that you cannot buy and when these things that you can buy uh you can only buy and you and it makes you better and you're gonna be the other guys that don't pay with real money right and these things you can buy are not available in the game they're only available with money that to me is is pay to win okay uh what else is uh, if you can buy boost or if you can buy power that would be pay to win but pay to win means you're actually winning something right but this game right here to me unless you play a lot of pvp you would pay to get more wins all right let's let's look at that hat real quick all right that's the one what is this thing this is pretty ugly right hulkster whatever i think i look much better like that right all right so I will open a couple more, but the problem is, and what people are not so happy with is the legendaries are very hard to find, right? And now if you have money, you can just buy a bunch of strong boxes and then you're going to get the legendaries without uh, an effort, without playing a hundred dungeons or two or three or four hundred dungeons to get the same legendary that you can just buy with $25 or something, right? Uh, let's buy another one of these. Let's get that sniper. Ah, the Tuscan element. This one's pretty cool though, but it's another common. Uh, let's go again. Uh, Seer Sash. Ah, uh, that's a front. Wow, I'll see that one. I've seen that one. Three commons now. All right. Another thing is... If my point is that you can only get these things with money, then people have a point. What about the True Patriot? Is it not the best sniper in the game, the True Patriot? Because it seems to be the one that deals the most damage, right? Oh, that is nice. The Epic Belt. Oh my god, this one is very, very nice. So the thing is, if you guys seen the last Madfinger stream, they said in the next update when we will have some new dungeons they say the legendaries will rotate so they say if that specific legendary is now available in blade dancer after the rotation is no longer going to be in blade dancer it's going to be somewhere else and the other legendaries that are somewhere else might be now 
in Blade Dancer Dungeon, right? Also, some people asked in the past, uh, is the True Patriot only available in Lucky Will? And they never really answer, but they say, we will let you find out. We don't want to spoil it. So that got me to think, guys, and I'm really, really think I'm right on that one. I really think that when there's going to be a rotation, probably the Pedro Will, Pedro Will Legendary will rotate out and something else will come in the Lucky Will instead. That would make a lot of sense for real because if the best Legendary Sniper in the game is only available in the Lucky Will, that means you cannot only have it with money and that would kind of give you a bit of an advantage. But once again, I'm not so sure that the True Patriot is the most OP thing in the game, right? I mean, I don't know if people really use uh, Legendary Sniper that much in PvP, 1v1 or 4v4. Let's go for another one. I don't know how much I open or how many, but I wanted to go for like... Oh, I don't have the Smoke Eater helmet. This is also a very good looking one. Alright, let's go for 5 now. Oh, inventory full! That is so sad. But I got a lot of stuff for sale, so let's cut. Alright, I'm back. I did clear a lot of space in my inventory, so let's go for five rolls now. Can we get something epic? Let's do this. Oh, Savannah Belt? Okay, I don't have that. It's a rare one. Relax, I don't have that emo. I love emotes, by the way, you guys know, right? You shuffle? I don't have it. I got so many emotes now. Mmm, chaperone. And the Vanguard helmet. So that's five, right? Alright, so no legendaries yet. And I did go for more than ten. So I might do five more uh, right at the end. But to resume, what I wanted to say is... A lot of people use the word or the words pay to win and they, I don't think it means what you think it means. That's what I wanted to say, okay? To me, pay to win is when you pay to beat people and you beat them because of the money. In this game, I don't agree when people say it's pay to win for so many reasons. First of all, these things that you can buy, and I'm thinking about the legendaries, they are available to everyone, but I know it's a very long grind to get the legendaries but it's just pve you just grind because it's fun you get new gear you get new armor you get new stuff uh you gain fame by doing ribbons at the same time you're actually playing you're not even playing against other people so that's like pay to win what you're not even beating people if you go in pvp though that's another thing but are you getting beat by these legendaries that people win uh people buy and because I think about my OG Moneymaker video, are you really getting beat by the OG Moneymaker in PvP? The guys with the money that bought the OG Moneymaker are now kicking your ass because they got a most powerful sniper ever? Like, come on, guys. You know the OG Moneymaker, from what we know, is not the best at all. And it is falling short if you compare with an epic sniper, the best and skiller, which is an epic. And you can drop in dungeons pretty not so easy okay but you're still gonna get it if you play a lot right so i don't know guys same thing for the the kira smg all right do people really use a kira i i hear a lot of people that have it they say it's not even that good it's just super cool looking and yes it's a legendary yes it's super rare but if they bought it instead of winning it in battle does it make them better players because they got it i don't think so so that's my question for you guys today, and I really want to hear what you have to say. The question, is this game pay to win now? Is it pay to win because they can now uh, offer legendaries in the strong boxes? I want to know what you got to say. Let's go for five more. Finger crossed for the sniper, and if I don't get it now, we'll try again. Oh, the evil overlord. This is probably one of the coolest looking helmet in the whole game. Sticker holo? Uh, okay, three more. Caterpillar common legs. Uh, paint can crate. I got two things now to open. And last one of the day, guys. It's another high date. Is that how you say that, high date? 
So I got two now. My inventory is going to be clogged with cosmetic stuff. Ish. So I got uh, two of these steampunk controls now. And I got two of these. Man, I think we're going to be able to trade. Well, we will be able to trade in the future. It's not coming soon, I think. But I guess I kind of have to keep these epic ones at least. So if you guys are looking for that cool thing, I'll be able to trade with you guys in the future. So that will be it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Something different today. Something, uh, something I don't usually do. Chit chat and gamble. So hope you guys have a great day. Don't forget to leave a comment. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on your notifications. And watch my other videos. Bye bye guys.